Hi, my name is Happy, and I'm going to teach you how to use Pack Catcher. So you've been playing Space Marine 2 for the past couple of days, and while it's been an incredible, grimdark experience, you start to wonder, like you do with all games, are there mods? The answer is yes, there are a lot of them. You might be thinking, oh wow, that's so cool, look at this one, I can play as a chaplain? How do I install this? And that's where Pack Catcher comes in. Space Marine 2's files come in the form of pack files, and they need the special cache file of the same name in order to run, except every time you change something in that pack file, you have to make a new cache. Pack Catcher does this automatically, and I'm going to show you how to use it. The best way to show you is to make a mod, but not everyone's interested in that, so if you just want to watch how to actually use the tool, just go to this timestamp here, otherwise continue watching. So, Space Marine 2. In order to create a mod, you have to go directly into the files of the game. Right click Space Marine 2, Manage, and Browse Local Files. And now we're in this folder. You can see here's the Warhammer Space Marine 2 EXE, so this is the game, this is the any file, and this is a protected game for the, uh, for the EOS stuff. These two files, Server PC and Client PC, are the ones we want to look at. Client PC has files that handle everything on your computer, so everything that you're experiencing, everything you see. So things like UI elements are handled on the client. In Server PC, we have everything that actually runs and works the game, so like bot behavior and an AI director that's all in here it's all controlled in here what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a very simple mod we're gonna increase the amount of players in the operations game mode from three to six we're gonna double the amount this won't allow real players to join but it'll give you more bots to play around with all right it's a very simple mod to make it's like two lines of code that you have to change and there's one file in client PC and one file in server PC so Let's get started. First, we're going to go in and we're going to edit client PC. So you click client PC, root folder, packs, client, and default. There's a ton of stuff in here, but we are only concerned about this pack right here. For the most part, you'll only ever want to deal with this pack, default other. You want to have some sort of like file editor thing for this. I chose WinRAR. Because I like WinRAR. So I'm going to open this file by double clicking it. It'll bring up this window. There's a bunch of more folders here, but we're going to go to SSL and we're going to scroll down until we find main. We're going to click game, game modes, description, and we're going to open game mode description library.sso. This file needs to be opened in a text editor of your choice. I am using Visual Studio Code, but it can be opened and edited just fine in just the standard text editor notepad or whatever that comes with your computer. Like it just comes with a computer. When you open it up, this is what the file will look like. It'll have all this data in here, and it's really simple to look at. All we want to do is look at where we are and how many players are allowed in that room, right? There's a couple other things here. There's minimum required players to start the game. There's minimum players to finish warm up. There's a bunch of stuff in here, but we are only worried about this file, this line of code right here, max players count. Right. As you can see, this is the hub, so this is in the battle barge. This isn't in-game, this is in the battle barge. If we go down here, this says story, so this is in the campaign. You know, playing as Captain Titus with Gadriel and Chiron. What we're worried about is this one, PvE, right here. We want PvE because that's what Operations is called, and we want to change this line right here from 3 to 6. That's it. That's all we have to do. We're going to come up here. We're going to save the file. It'll give you this in your WinRAR window, and you say yes. It saves, and you can close this window. You don't need it anymore. There's one last file we have to edit. The file of the exact same name in the exact same location, but in the server PC folders. So we're going to go into server PC, root, packs, server, default and we're going to open default other pack you're going to open ssl scroll down to main game game modes description and game mode description library and it's the exact same file word for word everything exactly the same and all we have to do is scroll down find pve 
and change this number from three to six and save the file. We can then close out of our text editor, save this file, and we're ready to use Pack Cacher. All right. I have it set up so that we have two tabs. This is the client PC folder and this is the server PC folder. When you download PackCacher, it sits right here in this little window. It says packcacher.exe. If you run it, it opens the window. Ooh, we don't want this window. You don't run the file. All you do is you take this folder, this pack file, because we edited default other pack, and we click, drag it, Hold it above this file here, let go, this window pops up, it does it, it says completed, we close it, and now this pack is named something random. We can delete this one, and if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, there is now default other pack dot cache. That is the new cache file, if we hit restart, it'll show up underneath default other pack, and they're right here, and that's it. That's all you want to do. We need to do the same thing for the server version. So we're going to drag default other pack, hover over the pack cacher exe, let it go. This window pops up. We can close it. This is now renamed. And if we reload this page, there it is right there. There are five bots. See one, two, three, four, five. They all run around. They all do stuff all working just fine and that's how you make space marine 2 one